Welcome back to another video guys. Today we are going to be doing the tension rod bushings. Um, so these are the bushings right here. These are the new ones, the polyurethane. Um, these are the old ones, they were rubber. Um, so we got the upgrade. Again, these are the Prothane. Um, I did the sway bar bushings in previous videos. You guys have probably seen those. Um, like I said before, I got this kit on eBay. It was the entire thing, all the bushings for sway bars, uh, control arms, everything all in one. Um, so that's what I got. Today we're going to be doing these. Uh, let me show you where the tension rod is. So under your car, hopefully it's a Z, you're going to have these things right here. And as you can see, these are the new tension rod bushings I put in. Let me scoot over a little bit. So as you can see over here, so there's a bar, this black bar that runs from there all the way up here. And that is our tension rod. Um, and basically what it does is it keeps the control arm from moving rearwards um, when you hit like bumps or things. And so it keeps your wheels going straight and it's going to be a lot easier to uh, work on or a lot easier to handle. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and replace these bushings right here, which if you saw before, were really worn out and they're cracked old rubber. Um, so we're gonna be replacing them with those new polyurethane ones. And so basically, it's pretty simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and jack it up. As you see, I've got a jack here. And I put a secondary jack there just in case. Um, and I also put one down there because it lifted up that side and I didn't want it uh, bending from one corner. So I went ahead, stuck a couple jacks under here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and what we want to do is put some uh, WD-40 on this bolt because this one gets stuck uh, pretty easily. And because we can't get an impact wrench in here, we're going to have to use, it's a 17 millimeter uh, wrench like this. And we're going to go ahead and put it on here and we're just going to have to break it off. It's actually pretty easy if you use a little bit of WD-40. And then there's two more bolts that hold on to the bottom. Let's see if we can see it right on top there. Right. There's two more bolts right underneath that go through those studs right there next to the uh, sway bar link. And so we're going to go ahead and put some WB-40 on those as well because those were a bit tough. Um, but luckily we're able to get our uh, impact wrench on so it doesn't make it too difficult to get that off. So that's what we're going to do guys. Let's go ahead and take off this part first. One more thing guys real quick. Um, because these tension bars pull the front of the control arm, it can actually mess up your alignment. Um, so if you look, my, my steering wheel is actually tilted, so it's actually not that bad. But as you can see, the front is pulled in that way. And so if the, if the bar pulls the front of the control arm, it's actually going to mess up your alignment. So you want to do this right before you get in alignment. Um, so what I would suggest is if you're doing any suspension modifications, like new springs or anything, do that all at one time. That way you only have to get one alignment. Um, and make sure to be careful that way <laughs> you don't mess up your tires while you're driving there. Um, but this should be pretty good. The originals, if you remember in the original shot, the first shot that I had, they're pretty close to the same thickness as these ones were. Um, so I'm not worried too much about them. And I am going to get in alignment here soon once I do the uh, end links uh, for my steering because those are all ripped if you guys have seen. Um, so there you go guys. Um, just a qu quick little tip real quick just to uh, make sure you guys know the risks just in case. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the impact wrench and get those two bolts off right there. All right, now that those two are out, you can go ahead and you can either just hit it with your hand or if you have like a uh, wrench or something, and you wanna go ahead and just uh, tap it, it should pop right up. And then just pull it right out. And there you go. And as you see our bushings are still up in here, so go ahead and grab those out. There's a little metal sheet or a sheath running through them, so don't forget that. Make sure you pull that out as well. And there we go. Now let's go ahead, and I'm gonna clean up this bar, or if you don't want to, go ahead and just start putting the new bush bushings in.
All right, so now I've gone ahead and painted mine. It looks all nice and shiny and brand new now. What we're gonna go ahead and do is put the bushings on. So we're gonna go ahead and take our new bushings, and they're gonna be like this. You can tell one side is like a flat cut. Sorry if you can see that. Let me see if I can focus real quick. There we go. One side is flat and one side is rounded up there. Um, so the flat side is going to be towards the center. Um, that's what's going to push along the metal bracket under there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull one side off. And what we have are these washers. We're gonna use the ones that came with the uh, came off the old ones. And so we're gonna take them, and we always push them so that they're concave out. So if you can see that, I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on there, and then the bushing. Now we're gonna go ahead and stick this piece in um, under the car. All right, just like when you took it out, we're gonna go ahead and take it. We're gonna feed this up through there, and then stick this through the hole. Just like that, perfect. Now, one thing that you're going to notice over here, these holes don't line up. And you're like, what the heck, Josh? We just took it out and we replaced it, and now it's not fitting in correctly? Well, that's okay. What we're going to have to do is, um, and what I did with that set is I took the tire off and I actually pushed with my hands on the caliper um, and the disc brake rotor and everything. And I was able to push it far enough to get those in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that because we can't put on this side quite yet until that's in. All right, so I was able to get mine in without having to remove the tire and everything. So what I did is I loosened up the uh, sway bar end link here to give it a little more flexibility from the sway bar, So, because this entire arm needs to move that way. And so what I did is I loosened that up, and then I took my knee, and I kind of just pushed on it, and pushed the entire control arm that way, um, and then used this hand to guide them into the correct spot. So as you can see, those are in now. We can go ahead, and what I always do with suspension parts, just because... I always put this thread locker on it. Um, this is the thread locker red. Um, they're in blue bottles. It's a high strength though. Um, you can get some that's um, the removable, but I like using the high strength because I'm not going to be replacing this anytime soon, and I don't want it coming off. Um, especially since I don't know the torque specs for what this is supposed to be. If you know the torque specs, go ahead and chop them down below, and I will try to put them in comments or whatever in the video. Um, but I don't know at the time, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, say that's pretty good. And now what we can do, take this piece, stick it on there. If we can fit it, there we go. And then we have two washers. We have the thick one and then the small one. So we'll go ahead, put in the thick one. We've got the small one. And there we go, and we're ready to put nuts on all three of these bolts now. Alright guys, that's how you install your tension link uh, bushings right here. Um, new polyurethane. And remember guys, if you have any other questions or comments, um, go ahead and leave them down below and I will answer them. Um, and also, if you uh, forgot to uh, torque that back up, go ahead and put your sway bar end link back on. You don't want that being loose. Um, but there you go guys, that should be everything. Remember to uh, subscribe and also follow me on Instagram at the Z Garage. Alright, see you guys later.